I'm sorry, little buddy, but you got to go back to America. Two weeks ago, I did the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. I quit my job, I packed my bags, and I moved to Europe. I moved to Europe in order to learn how to tell stories. I wanted to tell stories, put these stories on the internet for the world to see. I learned one important thing during this journey, just in the last two weeks alone. I have to travel much lighter. And this is the reason why. 14.93 pounds, almost 15 pounds. Because you have uh, always passing the same trip for one hour or a uh, 24 hours is always always the same. Okay. 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 No, I'm just explaining. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> Here's the shipping place. This is the second time I've been here in 24 hours. Yesterday I came and she said that I needed to put locks on the bag first. Here are the locks. Get rid of this bag. Got to be kidding. Of course I would come when they're closed. Look at that. It doesn't open till two o'clock. It's one o'clock. All right. Let's go find something else to do, I guess, for an hour. What is this? Uh, this looks like sushi. I'm not in the mood for sushi. Let's see what else. We actually found a different lunch place other than this. Um, it looked like it was some kind of genuine Portuguese place. When you walked in, there was a little pastry section right out front, and then the restaurant there, and then um, the inside part of the seating, and then the outside part was just behind us. And when we walked in, um, I looked at the pastries, and I saw biscuits, and I saw some kind of like corn muffin type thing, which looked great. I was going to order them actually to go after we had our lunch. However, the attendant was, let's just say she was having a bad day. Uh, she was rude, uh, she was very short, and she wanted us to choose between eating there at the counter or being sat, and just her attitude just wasn't, wasn't good. And my thing is, when I travel, um, I understand that people can have a bad day. I mean, I've had plenty of them. I'm sure we all have. But uh, if someone is rude, I refuse to spend money at that establishment. So we left, and now we are here. Uh, this place is actually a little bit more interesting. I'm actually going to show you the little alley here in a moment. But this place is definitely a different vibe. Uh, it's Asian food, and there was something on the menu that was, uh, let's just say, something I've been craving for a while. But don't, don't judge me, please. <sighs> Fried chicken wings! Cool. Hi. 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 
Which round down there is uh, two or three of them. Some more restaurants over here. Uh, another two or three of them. style of shooting that I'm trying to perfect, I've learned that story is king. And it's a lot easier to tell a story when I'm not lugging 15 pounds of stuff on me. Speaking of story, I'm in a tree and uh, this looks like this might be someone's home. I forgot to add one more thing. If you ever need to ship anything from Portugal back to the United States, go on the CTT website. C T T all in red letters. It's the equivalent of their port their, their post office. What you need to do is you need to fill out customs form on that actual website, print it out, and then bring it to bring it with you to the CTT office. Okay? Once you get there, then just present the form to them pay the charges and it should be somewhat simple. I use the word somewhat because ultimately we just don't know. Um, but you have to have that form filled out before you go to the post office. There is a possibility, in my case, I didn't even know about the form and they were nice enough to fill it out on the computer while I waited. It took about 15 to 20 minutes for her to do so. So there is a possibility, of course, that you may go there and they may help you out. But in the event, you may it might just be better for you just to fill it out online and then take it to the post office with you. Uh, if you cannot have, if you cannot find a CTT near you, Google UPS Access Point. They're all over Lisbon. It's the equivalent of like a FedEx or um, a Kinko's, um, and there you can actually have the uh, same service done. They can go ahead and ship the package from that location back to the United States. So. That's, our, that's my little tip on how to ship from Lisbon to the U.S.